What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode we're going to be talking about AutoZone. Now this is going to apply to certain individuals depending on if you have an AutoZone in your location. Uh, what AutoZone is, is going to be for your one-stop place for car parts. Uh, me, myself, I'm definitely a big car enthusiast. I love working on cars, I love dealing with them. And so having applications like this on my phone is kind of a must. Uh, what's nice about it is a lot of these auto shops are starting to, you know, get with the times. Uh, I'll be honest with you, when you, and probably you'll understand this, when you go to a mechanic, you know, you're not expecting them to be completely tech savvy. Now that's not saying all mechanics aren't tech savvy, but when I'm talking about tech savvy, I'm talking in the sense of building a mobile application and making it represent your shop or your store. And this way, AutoZone is obviously going to be one of the first ones. And, you know, your small mom and pop shops probably won't really get into that for another few years, in my opinion. Uh, I can say probably up to 10 years. It just, they haven't, they have no need for it yet. It seems like they're still sticking with the yellow pages. But anyways, we're going to talk about it real quick. Uh, what's nice about it is you can just kind of come in here. Uh, if you want to add a car, you can do that as well. Uh, for me, I have a project car that I'm working on. Uh, so let's see if I can kind of find something for it. Uh, this little project car that I'm working on is on blocks. So I'm just kind of looking to, uh, I like to play with engines and mess with stuff like that. So I'm actually looking to uh, play around with this one a little bit. And see, that was added successfully. And now what happens is now that all my part, or my, the car that I want to kind of look for is going to be set up right there. Every time I go in and look for something, so as a part, it's going to break it down to finding the parts that work for me. Uh, so let's go into batteries, batteries, and it should be cycling it out for me. There we go. So as you can see, there's going to be a list of batteries that are going to work for my car. Uh, I think it's just a lot easier dealing with it that way because you know when you go into an auto body store, or sorry, an auto shop, and you have to kind of go through their computers or talk to the person that is running it and see if you can get it that way. Uh, you know, it can take some time, but this way you can kind of, you know, get things done, get in the shop, get out, get back to your car and get it fixed. Uh, there's also going to be repair help, which is also a very nice uh, thing to add to it. Uh, so if you need to look for a guide or, you know, troubleshooting or any of that type of stuff, it's a great way of doing it. Uh, buying those books back in the 90s, even early uh, 80s were kind of uh, pricey. Uh, but it looks like, you know, with the internet the way it is nowadays, all these, you know, self-help books and these do-it-yourself books are, you know, they're pretty much free to get no matter where you're at. Uh, you can also go to the deal section and use your location, type it in and see if there's any deals in your area. And that's it. All I really wanted to do when I talk about this. Now, this isn't the only uh, auto app out there. This is just kind of one of the more popular ones in my area, and I live in California. Uh, but if you do have, you know, maybe an auto store that's kind of a big auto store, if you're back east, you probably have a different, you know, auto body shop out there, or sorry, an auto zone, or sorry, an auto store for parts and uh, stuff like that, you might want to check it out, see if they do have an application, I'm sure they do, if not, maybe you can, you know, send them an email saying they need to do that, give them an example of the auto zone, be like, hey buddy, look it, they're doing it, why aren't you? Uh, but anyways, if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.